This is a look at the tools required for disassembly and assembly of the main bearing. All these tools come standard with the engine. Never remove two main bearings mounted side by side at the same time. First, loosen both side studs. Standard, one jack for this purpose is available. If two jacks are delivered, then simultaneously mount the jacks on both side studs of the relevant main bearing. Connect the hydraulic hoses and then first tighten the jack as far as possible. Then slack off the jack one full turn. The jacks are so designed that they can be connected in series. Set the prescribed hydraulic pressure using the air pressure reducing valve on the pump and pressurize the jacks as required simultaneously. Note down at which pressure the nuts come loose. The prescribed procedure is stated in the instruction manual. Remove the nuts on either side. The engine is equipped with a bearing monitoring device. A sensor is fitted on each main bearing cap. The sensor can be detached by disconnecting the banjo union. This must be done before the main bearing cap is loosened by jacking. A trolley placed on the rails in the oil sump is used to position the jacks of the main bearing cap under the studs. Place the long stroke jack in the trolley with the rotary disc pointing upwards. Now the main bearing jack can be placed on the rotary disc using the jack hoist mounted at the side of the engine block. In this way, the jack can be easily moved until it is straight under the stud of the main bearing cap. Then couple the long stroke jack to a hand pump to lift up the main bearing jack. This is done to allow the jack to be screwed on the stud thread in an easy way. Now turn up the jack until it contacts the main bearing cap. Repeat this procedure for the second jack. Loosen off the jacks one turn. Connect the jacks to the pneumatic pump. Pressurize both jacks as specified in the instruction manual and simultaneously check when the nuts come loose. Slack off the nuts of the main bearing studs one full turn. When the nuts are loose, the long stroke jack is raised to take up the main bearing jack when it becomes free from the stud. Now drop the oil pressure which makes the jack go down as well and can be lifted from the crankcase using the jack hoist.
Mount the hydraulic couplings on the low-pressure telescopic jack under the main bearing cap, which also serves as the main lube oil supply line when the engine is in operation. There are two connections on the telescopic jack which are marked up and down. Connect the delivery side of the hand pump to the down connection, black hose, and the oil discharge hose, blue, to the up connection. Keep the valve in the return oil line closed. Pressurize the telescopic jack slightly so that first both side studs can be removed. Now remove the two main bearing cap nuts. Keep the return valve on the pump closed. Next, the return valve on the pump can be opened, after which the bearing cap can be forced down in a controlled manner. When the telescopic jack has reached its second stage, the cap will be lowered by its own weight. When the cap is in its bottommost position, the lower bearing shell can be taken out manually. Disassemble the upper bearing shell using a turning plate. This plate is placed in the lube oil duct of the crankshaft and secured with an Allen key. Gently turn the crankshaft so that the upper bearing shell is pushed out of the crankshaft bore. To prevent damage, collect the bearing shell when the whole shell has been pressed out of the bore.